Look at this. See what it says. It's Karl Marx, 1818-1883. They said he's been here like for a day or two visiting his sister and uh, she was supposed to live in this house which uh, later they found out she actually didn't but they found that out after they put on the thing. When you come from Aachen, Maastricht is just a natural choice because it's just so close like geographically and uh, of course I've been to the city and I uh, kind of always liked it so I said well that would be a good idea. It's reachable and uh, yeah, I know some people here uh, I can stay at people at people's houses uh, for <laughs> just for a couple of uh, weeks for the time I'm making the book. It's a series and they have about like 100 titles in the series already. Everybody takes pictures from this side of the building, but uh, I guess we shall just walk inside and see what it has to show us. Yeah, the idea is that you find 111 places in a city that are not in every usual travel guide. So uh, you got to look a little bit closer and you're not going for the shiny uh, surface of the city. You look for all the little cracks, the little stories and uh, yeah, interesting people because uh, behind each interesting place there's always interesting people. Uh, and that's kind of hard work, you know, because the city doesn't give that away easily. If you talk to the people, uh, they immediately become sort of friends because uh, you're really interested in the city and the place where they live. One of the places you told me you'd visited was the, uh, the scrapyard. Yeah, that's a, a wonderful place and a good example for the book because it's a really inspiring place. You know, once you go there, you find all kinds of stuff. You have like historical places, cultural places. Uh, all kinds of places actually and it goes from like you said the brothers crane to the like celebrus uh, chapel look at this it's wonderful uh, yeah it used to be the the old limburg's uh, government it's wonderful in the summer you can sit here you can have a coffee at the cafeteria for a reasonable price i guess and now i think it's the faculty of law uh, i think i hit a bonanza here <laughs> beautiful piece it's been made with a declaration of human rights in mind you know if you go up there like Thomas Strat you find another beautiful piece of art it's a wall painting it's been done due to the fact that the declaration of human rights turned 40 years old I think in uh, 88 the original was by Roland Topor a well-known illustrator and a writer from France mm -hmm. 